So my name is Mike. I was here for the interview last week. Mike? Oh, I remember. Um, Mr. Mike. As you are aware of, this company is a very big cosmetic company with branches nationwide. Engaging the services of a marketing manager meant we need somebody with at least five years working experience. Though you, you pass very well, we didn't tell you that for your lack of experience, I'm sorry, you can't serve the job. So please, please do have everything. So I promise that if I'm given this job, that I won't let you know the company down. Please, I beg you. Mr. Mike, I'm sorry, there is nothing I can do to help you. I am handicapped. What, uh, what stands between you and the job and the company's policy? Anyway, if there is, if there is any rethink or consideration, I promise to let you into a lesser position when the need arises. I promise to let you into any lesser position. What am I saying? This is Rosie now. This is Rosie, is this you? Uh-uh, now. This Rosie, is you. Don't, 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 let me be sure. <laughs> Baby, you've got that. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> you know, the last time I saw you, you were like this. Now nah, you don't stop loss, you bribe God. I heard the wife. What? What are you doing? here and there. Uh, what are you doing here? Do you work here? No, I work in the central bank. Central? Yes. How did you manage? Mm, my daddy made the call, sure, sir. That's how it's service. Well, look here. What is apart from employment? Uh -huh. I attended their interview for the post of marketing manager. I skated through though, but the personal manager just told me now that based on company's policies on years of experience, that they won't go, they're, they're not going to employ me. So I was actually going home dejected now. The personal manager, is that not Mr. Jeff? You know him already? Yeah. Don't tell me he's your boyfriend. Boyfriend, care. Mike, you never change. Ah, I mean, the man works for my dad. This is my dad's company. Your father owns this company? Yes. Yes, I know it. Ah, ah. No wonder during our year service days you were changing cars as if you were changing your clothes. Maybe. You know what some of us thought? We thought maybe you were dating some of these ministers in Abuja. Or men that really matter most in the society. You are not the only one in that. Like, oh, you know? Uh, no. <laughs> okay, Ruth, please. Uh, back to the issue. I, I need to work in this company. How can you assist me? Um, number one, you bribe me. Then number two, um, 
as long as I remain the cherished daughter of the MD. You're already the marketing manager. Yes! Ah! Rosie, if you do this for me, I'll be on top of the world and you I'll keep with a lot of pressure. <laughs> already? Yeah. Ah! Come on. <laughs> Coming into the office without even telephoning me. I hope there is nothing serious. Mm -mm, nothing. But the phone is not necessary. Just came to tell me how to do mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, I'm also very proud of you. You have a very good, brilliant daughter. Mm -hmm. Dad, you, you wouldn't believe this. I stumbled into an old acquaintance today. We served together, we did our service together. We were quite close. Mm. You met him where? I met him outside the country. So what did he come to do? To seek for an employment, of course. That, according to him, he was among those shortlisted for the marketing manager post. He attended, he passed, but was denied employment because of the company's policy of working experience or whatever. Mm. Uh, yes, we don't compromise our principles here. If you don't have any working experience, we don't allow you to learn on the job. With that, mm -hmm. you can still give him the job now. I promise he will not let us down. He will not. You would have told me that that's why you came here in the first place. <laughs> not really, yeah. <laughs> it was purely coincidental, honestly. Uh, the king's daughter has spoken, so who is the king to uh, disobey? Mm. <laughs> that mm. this is credentials. These are his credentials. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> hmm. Result, a very brilliant young man. Bring him in. Okay. Good day, sir. Hello, uh, Mr. Mike, right? That's right, sir. Sit down. Thank you, sir. My daughter makes me understand that you did your service together. Yes, that's close. She also says that uh, you applied for employment here, you were shortlisted, interviewed, but because you lacked working experience, you couldn't get the job. That's true, sir. Well, we don't ordinarily compromise our employment principles, no. But for her sake, I will grant you a concession. Hmm? I um, I will pull you in by pulling you in. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah. Thank you, sir. It's all right. Um, but I, I must warn you. Here we don't compromise principles. No. We don't tolerate. Lateness to duty. We don't condone any form of irresponsibility, especially when it manifests itself as truancy. We reward diligence and competence accordingly. We don't wait to be reminded. I wish you luck. Thank you very much, sir. Rosalind, yeah. take him to the head of personnel to give me the I wonder what would have become of me if not for 
all the assistance you've been given to me. You've been wonderful. I did what I did because I was opportunity. Besides, what are friends for? More like it. Uh -huh. But Rosie, let me ask you a question. Um, how would you react to a situation where somebody confronts you with uh, the idea that you had a dream about me and you? Mm -hmm. Same tying up her might or not? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me carried away by this woman, please. Ah. Am I being carried away? Well, I thought I asked a simple question devoid of any environmental influence. Let's keep the talking for now. Okay. I surrender. Okay. Only because it's a woman's word now. Mm. But when it becomes a man's word, mm. I'll demand an answer. That's when it becomes a man's word. So for now, let's. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> For a long time now, you have no job. Mm. Papa, that was before. Yes, um, I'm gainfully employed now. Oh, you are working now? Right? Yes, Mama. I work for Benjamin Industries, makers of Benjamin Cosmetics. Mm. And I'm their marketing manager. Marketing manager? So you are manager now? Yes, Mama. And you see, the girl I told you people about, Rosalind. Rosalind? Yes. The daughter to my chairman. She's the brain behind everything that is happening to me now. I thank God for the new job. Mm. At the same time, at the same time, don't joke, don't play with the child. Uh, Papa Mike, Papa Michael, please, uh, Mike, there is just one thing I want to tell you. And that is, please, Remember our family. Remember the background from where you come. Uh, as well, as well, what is that? Uh, uh, Rosaline, eh? Uh -huh. I know. One day you will bring her home. Uh, so that we will show appreciation to everything she has been doing. Go yes, and go in and find him something to eat. Hey, I will. I will. Come. Come. You're not used to keeping leads when it comes to honoring my invitation. I'm sorry, please. I'm sorry, okay? It's alright. Ah, please don't forget. Um, waiter! Waiter! 
Please come. What would you like to do today, sir? Mm, fried rice. Okay, uh, with a please, can we have a plate of fried rice and chicken? Eba, and vegetable soup, two bottles of malt. No, thank you. Well, Mike, yeah. talk to me now before the food comes. I don't want a long story. <laughs> <laughs> I have a story indeed. Um, it just, um, I didn't know how to play, but I um, Talk to me, okay? Stop all this. Um, what is it? Well, Rosalind. Hmm? What I'm about to tell you now, I've talked seriously about. You see, I don't know why it's taking you too long a time to answer to my request. And I wonder what I has anything to do with my background. Of course, your present status now is really silencing your background. It has nothing to do with that now. If it's not my background, why are you taking too long to answer to me? A yes, a no will solve this problem. Mike, you know he can't just give me out to any man he can't vouch for and besides, he can't stand to see me have a hard day. God forbid, you know that is not possible. You know that is not possible. I'm not that kind of person. Or for a thing to, give, to, to break your heart. No, now, look, honey, all you need to do is tell your dad the good things about me that he needs to hear. I'm sure he will not refuse me. You know? Mike, let's forget about this now, okay? Let's remain that let me friends, please. Please. Okay. Let's just remain friends. Please. Uh, where is this waiter now? Uh, will, I, will I use everything to bring food again? It's becoming very difficult. Can you imagine how long we've been here? Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't really understand it. Everything you want to get, nothing comes. Ah. Uh. What is it? Oh, okay. Well, somebody proposed to me and I want to discuss it first with you before daddy. <laughs> is that why you're fluttering? <laughs> now, somebody proposed to you, obviously, wants to marry you. Mm -hmm. Who is this person? He's Michael Chikwe. Michael Chikwe. Mm. Who is he? He's the marketing manager of Benjamin Cosmetics West African Limited. No. No. I mean, you can't be serious. Why do you want to marry someone that's working for your father? I mean, Rosalind, how could you stoop so low? Well, Mike is intelligent, hardworking. Besides, I, I love him. Your father and I will never forgive us each other. Your father and I will never forgive ourselves if we give you out in marriage to a nobody. Mike is not just a nobody. He's not a graduate. Where are his parents? They're in the village farming. Oh, that says it. That says it all. I mean, you're not on the same social strata. But, Mom, he loves me and I love him too. Love is the most vital thing now. Please. Mom, well, please. Well, if, if, if you've made up your mind already, I guess it will be unfair if I come in between the two of you. You may go and discuss it with your father and find out how he feels about it. But I have to warn you. I don't want you to make a silly mistake you'll regret in your life. I will not. I promise. I will not. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I promise I will not. Okay. <laughs> I promise. Thank you, Mom. 
Thank you. I actually came to see you in respect of Rosalind. What about her? Um, it's nothing in particular, it's just that um, I wanted you to know about I and Rosalind. Yes, you see, we have actually known each other for a very long time, way back in school. We were sort of close then and we felt something for each other. And I'm convinced that I still feel the same way right now. That's why I've come to let you know that I would like to marry her as my wife. Because I love her. <laughs> you don't even sound convincing enough. And what gives you the impression that you can just walk into this family and ask for my daughter's hand in marriage? Do you know that what you're asking for can cost you your job? Yes, I do. But the truth is that we really love each other. And she has equally agreed to marry me. So what we ask of you, man, it's what is just natural. Your consent, please. Hmm. And so the only way to show appreciation for what you feel for her is uh, to marry her. Certainly, man. You must be having a wild dream. Uh, uh, Mom. Listen. That's okay. I just need time. Hmm? Time to go over this. Thank you very much for your time. Could you please send me well to her when she gets back? Come. Tell your mother I'm off to see a friend. Eh? I won't be long. Hmm? Okay. Uh, mother? Yes? Please tell me. I want to discuss something. Alright. Sit down. <clears throat> and what can that be? Um, Eddie, Mike proposed to me. Uh, and what did you tell him? Uh, I didn't give him a clear answer, but I think I love him and he's okay for me. You know something, Rose? Yeah. Until now, I was thinking you were a very responsible, intelligent girl. I'm beginning to realize how wrong I was. This is a young man you compelled me to employ only a few weeks ago. And today you have the impudence to sit before me and tell me that he has proposed to you. Why didn't you tell me that you were such a cheap girl? Yeah. Get out. I said get out! But Rosalind is our only daughter, our only child. And this whole thing is beginning to make her very unhappy. I don't think we should allow our sense of judgment to override her happiness. I mean, this young man, uh, Mike, can easily come up to her standard if we want him to. I will suggest we give him a chance. Ah, <clears throat> Janet. Yes, Chief. I'm disappointed in you. 
you've got to tell you the truth. I've always respected your sense of values, but I'm beginning to wonder whether I still know you anymore. You're trying to persuade me to give my consent so that Mike can marry my daughter. Rosalind is my only child. She happens to be a girl. I'm very fond of her, and I care about her future. What do you know about Mike? Who is Mike? What are his parents? What is his background? I cannot readily consent to dispatching my daughter into an uncertain future. I will not do that. Besides, from the little I have heard, asking her to marry Mike is marrying beneath her. I will never, I will not approve of that, no. <laughs> okay. Darling, can I um, get you your night cap? That's a good idea, a better topic, yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Would you want some uh, uh, cheese with the crackers? Yes, anything you add to it will be all right. Okay. So I already know what I'll be thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let me quickly organize it. Um, I'll take you. <laughs> you are my princess. <laughs> I can say for the whole world. <laughs> Yes, you makes me a prince too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mike. Yeah, baby. Are you sure you're not gonna break my heart? Hey, come on, how can you say something like that? Now let me tell you. Breaking of heart is not a magicianary. And I will never do such thing to you. Because I love you so much. For real. I just need to be reassured, you know, I I don't want to embark on any adventure that will bring me future regrets. Alright. If you insist, okay? I won't ever break your heart. I will never think about it. Because I love you so much. I'm for real. I love you too. That's my baby. I think I can now scale my pants. You will? Yeah. That's my baby. Now let me take it off, please. Where we can actualize our love yeah. and make our dream come true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> about it. What is it? Well, it's Mike. What about Mike? Daddy, I love Mike. But you don't want to give us your consent. <laughs> Look, Rosalind, whatever I'm doing, I'm doing for your own good, in your own interest. You're my only child, my daughter. I don't believe that Mike is the right person for you. No. Can't you see? Daddy, please, no. Daddy, I love Mike, please. Daddy, Daddy, please, no. Daddy, please. <laughs> Oh, 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 all right, look, I, I, I don't want to come between you and your happiness. If you believe that married Mike is a guarantee for your happiness, all right, I don't have a choice. Go ahead and marry him. Let, let's take it. Let's take it. <laughs> 
Thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Hey, thank you. All right. Thank you. Now wipe your tears, huh? Thank you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> um, I've observed that my daughter is uh, rather fond of you. Well, from all indications, both of you are getting along very well. It's not my intention to come between my daughter and her interests. But you see, as my only child, her interests are paramount as far as I'm concerned. So whoever comes that close to my daughter must give me a guarantee that he can protect her interest at all times. She's my only child. But that's by the way. Um, I want to congratulate you it's the policy of this establishment to reward competence and appreciate excellence. So we are moving you up to general manager. It is a designation that has some benefits attached to it. You'll get a car and you'll get an accommodation. So if I am through with you, you'll move into the personnel and collect your keys for both your official vehicle and your official accommodation. So, uh, congratulations, my son. Come. Thank you very much, sir. Good. Um, so, let me use this opportunity to say that um, I will put in my very best, more than that I have done before into my job. And uh, as for your daughter, I'll treat with a lot of respect, sir. I won't let you down. All right. Once more, congratulations. Thank you very much, sir. And go to the personnel. Thank you, sir. Uh, LA, um, I'm coming, just give me a minute. Uh. Yeah, it. Present, baby! <laughs> How are you, baby? <laughs> oh, good to see you. Oh, no. I'm alright, baby, okay. come sit down. Wait, I want to see them. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Oh, my baby. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? I'm alright. It's okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Rosie, you know what? At times like this, um, I, I just wonder what, I, what would have become of me if I hadn't met her. Who knows? Maybe better or worse. <laughs> that notwithstanding, okay? Yeah. I have to know ourselves. You do? Because sure. why not uh, we just fix the wedding in a couple of days from now? Hmm. Uh, I just don't want your parents to change their mind. You know how difficult it was convincing them Getting them on board our marital boat, you know, it was it was quite difficult. Baby, let's not rush into this now, okay? My parents are not going to change their mind of course you know that. I know that. Who do you know that? Right? I fully know that too, but it's just such a time when I and you exchange our marital ring before the priests. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Rosie, but um what I'm going to say, like, it's not like I'm backing out, but I think we have to see my own parents first. Sure. They get to know you, know their wife, because it's not a one man thing, it's for every one of us. Yeah. Because you're for the good, lady. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Then, did you see my dad? Did you see my dad? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mike, Mike, Papa. you're welcome, my dear. It's like I anticipated your coming before getting down the coconut. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Papa, Mike, you know that when Mike was younger, he he used to enjoy the coconut. He would eat and eat and eat and eat coconut. <laughs> 
<laughs> until you begin to shout at me. Mama, I have still enjoyed today. <laughs> oh, yes. Nothing compares to it. Mark, Mark. You're welcome. Yes, sir. You're welcome, my daughter. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you are welcome. You're welcome, You're welcome man. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. So, <laughs> Mama, Papa, mm. this is Rosalind. You know, in fulfillment of what we agreed before, mm -hmm. you know, I said I must bring Rosalind home so that you will not see this beautiful person that has always been favoring me and uh, linking me up. <laughs> so, Rosalind, this is my mother and yes. that's my father. Mm. Yes. You're welcome, my daughter. You're welcome, my daughter. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. Yes. Uh, Who has been blessing this family because mm. of you? Come on. Mm. Come on. Ah, woman. Woman. Ah. woman. Mama, she said, no. I know. Welcome. My daughter. Welcome. You're welcome. Bro. Yeah. Mike told us everything. Yeah, everything. Please. Even at the first time, Mike is You see, mm. this is one aspect of this family. Yeah. We believe in accommodating strangers, and that is why God is blessing this family. Yeah. Rise, my daughter. Mm -hmm. I go back to your seat. Sad song. Sing it for all. This fear, happiness is it when you have everything? Happiness is it in your heart? How you feel? Love? Is it when you give me all I want? Now, am I still a good guy from a good home? Oh, see me now. Am I still the one you know? Oh, sugar cane, lush, sugar cane, sugar cane, lady. I don't know what came over me. Have a with your yes, I do. I don't know what happened. I was just driving and it, and it stopped. I, I don't know. You, you know how to do that, don't you? Yes. You know, ladies, they hardly know anything about car apart from using it. Let me see the battery head. The plug head. So careful from the battery. Do you know where the fuse is? Um. Oh, all right, I think you'll find it. <laughs> you don't know where this is. <laughs> I, I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> okay. It's okay. See, uh, why not try the ignition again? Let's see. You might start this time around. Oh. You see? Aha! I told you. Oh, thank you so. <laughs> much thank you it's all right just I take it i don't know in. what i would have done without you it's okay i'm I'll very see you. very grateful okay bye-bye oh sorry hold on you haven't even told me your name mine is uh mandy all right my name is mark mark it's a pleasure thank you once more yeah uh, just a minute yeah. I must do the world. Mike, tell me, has somebody ever told you you're very, very handsome? No, for real. Tell me, what's how is your love life? I mean, what's your love life like? Oh well. My love life is not in shadow of the fact that uh, I'll soon be getting married to my MD's only daughter. That's it. Really? <laughs> Are you sure that you love her or you want her because of her father's wealth? I'm madly in love with her for real. 
So, what you're saying is that there's no vacancy for me in your life, or I mean, there's no chance for us to have a relationship. Is that what you're saying? Mindy, how can I say such thing? How can I? When at the mention of your name, my heart jacks. I know that I love you so much. But you see, it's just a walkability here that's a problem. I don't think that's a problem. We can always settle that. We can handle it. We can always be discreet about it. Nobody has to know. Okay? What I'm saying, why don't you just tell me that... Um, you love me to relieve this tension that is burning in my heart. Mandy? Yeah? You please close your eyes. For real? Love you. Oh, I love you too, baby. <laughs> Something came up in the office, so I had to go meet all the guys so that we could seal up the deal. Seal up a deal? By this time of the day? Mike, it's almost 12 midnight. What is it? Honey, I'm sorry. Honey, I, like I said, I, I'm very sorry. You're sorry? I was in your office by 1 p.m. today and they told me you went out for a break. What is it? By, till now, till now! Honey, honey please, let, let's not get into an argument so, so that we don't get into, uh, so that we don't make mistakes. You know what I mean. I don't like this. I don't fancy it at all. I don't. Honey, I, I cross my heart. It, it will never happen again. Just cross your heart. Yes, it won't. Beautiful, eh? I think I like it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. But I'll pay for it. Okay. Hey, how much is this? Eighty thousand. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see that brown one. You sure it's going to look good? Yeah, but I think he might be longer than you, you know? I don't think so. It looks crazy, but it's cool. Beautiful. You sure? Yep. Oh. Yeah, I guess it's... It's quite cool. It fits your color. Uh, good afternoon, good evening. Mike. Uh, Rosalind, you're here. What are you doing? How are you? How are you you doing? haven't answered yet. I said, what are you doing? Oh, um, uh, my sister. Uh, I mean, my sister's cousin. Uh, she came back from the state, so I'm happy, happy one or two things here. Your sister's cousin? I mean, my sis, I'm sorry, I mean my cousin. And you're busy hugging and kissing each other? No. Mommy, he acts explained now. Eh? That's a sister. You know these people from the state. Exactly, you know, they very well people, kind of. I'm not complaining. All I know is that right now you're here. 
the job at the office will be suffering. Oh, it's, if it's about that one, it's properly taken care of. Everything is under control. Rosalind know how I work. I don't joke with my job at all. <laughs> yes. Rosalind, uh, if you're true, let, let me take you home, all right? No, do you want to leave your sister? I'll see you later, okay? Just... Hey, excuse me. Let's go. Mike, Mike, you're welcome, my doctor. It's like I anticipated your coming before getting down the coconut. <laughs> ah, Baba Mike, you know that when Mike was younger, he, he used to enjoy this coconut. He would eat and Mike? eat and eat and eat coconut until you begin to shout at him. But, 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 I still enjoy it today. Ah. Oh, yes. Ah. <laughs> Not the ah. Mike, Mike, ah. you're welcome. Yes, sir. You're welcome, my daughter. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you are welcome. You're welcome, man. Eh? You're welcome. You're welcome eh? Eh? So, <laughs> Mama, Papa, mm -hmm. this is Rosalind. You mm -hmm. know, in fulfillment of what we agreed before, mm -hmm. you know, I said I must bring Rosalind home so that you will now see this beautiful person that has always been <laughs> favoring me and uh, linking me up. <laughs> so, Rosalind, this is my mother and mm -hmm. that's my father. Mm -hmm. You're welcome, my daughter. You're welcome, my daughter. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. Yes, <laughs> God uh, has been blessing this family because mm. of you. Come on. Mm. Ah, woman. 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 Ah. Woman. Woman. Mama, she's not new. I know. She's not new. I love you too. No. Welcome. My daughter. Welcome. You're welcome. Bro. Eh? Mike told us everything. Eh, oh, everything. Please. Even at the first time, Mike is in the mm. This is one aspect of this family. Yeah. We believe in accommodating strangers, and that is why I go. Bless me, my daughter. I go back to your yeah, sister. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sad song, singing for all. I, I don't know. You, you know how to do that, don't you? Yes. You know, ladies say uh, hardly know anything about a car apart from using it. Let me see the battery head. The plug head. Everything seems so careful from the battery. Do you know where the fuse is? Um, oh, all right, I think you'll find it. <laughs> you don't know where this is. <laughs> I, I didn't know, I didn't know. Where. Okay, it's okay. See, uh, why not try the ignition again? Let's see. You might start this time. Oh. You see? Aha! I told you. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> much thank you it's all right just i don't know it what in. i would have done without you okay, i'm very you. very grateful okay bye bye oh sorry hold on you haven't even told me your name mine is uh mandy all right my name is mark mark 
It's a pleasure. Thank you once more. Yeah, yeah just a minute. Yeah. I might still do Mike, tell me, has somebody ever told you you're very, very handsome? No, for real. Tell me, what's how is your love life? I mean, what's your love life like? Oh well. My love life is not in shadow of the fact that uh, I'll soon be getting married to my MD's only daughter. That's it. Really? <laughs> Are you sure that you love her or you want her because of her father's wealth? I'm madly in love with her for real. So, what you're saying is that there's no vacancy for me in your life or I mean there's no chance for us to have a relationship is that what you're saying Mindy how can I say such thing how can I when at the mention of your name my heart checks I know that I love you so much but you see it's just a walkability here as a problem I don't think that's a problem we can always settle that we can handle it we can always be discreet about it. Nobody has to know. Okay, what I'm saying, why don't you just tell me that um, you love me to relieve this tension that is burning in my heart. Mandy? Yeah? You please close your eyes. For real? Love you, baby. Oh, I love you too, baby. <laughs> Yes! To us. <laughs> <laughs> so, Something came up in the office, so I had to go meet all the guys so that we could seal up the deal. Seal up a deal? By this time of the day? Mike, it's almost 12 midnight. What is it? Honey, I'm sorry. Honey, I, like I said, I, I'm very sorry. You're sorry? I was in the office by 1 p.m. today and they told me you went out for a break. What is it? By, till now, till now! Honey, please, let's not get into an argument so that we don't get into, uh, so that we don't make mistakes. You know what I mean. I don't like this. I don't fancy it at all. I don't. Honey, I, I cross my heart. It, it will never happen again. Just cross your heart. Yes, it won't. Beautiful, eh? I think I like it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And I'll pay for it. Okay. Hey, how much is this? Eighteen thousand. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh, <laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see that brown one. You sure it's gonna look good? Yeah, but I think he might be longer than you, you know. I don't think so. It looks crazy, but it's cool. It's beautiful. You sure? Yep. Oh. But I guess it's It's quite cool, it fits your color. Uh, good afternoon, um, good evening, Mike. Rosalind, you're here. What Tell are you doing? How are you? How you, you haven't answered yet. I said, what are you doing? Oh, um, uh, my sister. Uh, I mean, my sister's cousin. Uh, she came back from the mistake, so I'm happy, happy, one or two things here. Your sister's cousin. I mean, my sister. I'm sorry. I mean, my cousin. And you're busy hugging and kissing each other. No, no. me. He has explained now. Eh? That's a sister. You know these people from the state. Exactly. You know the very well people, kind of. I'm not complaining. All I know is that right now you're here. The job at the office will be suffering. Oh, it's, if it's about that one, it's properly taken care of. Everything is under control. Rosalind know how I work. I don't joke with my job at all. <laughs> yes. Rosalind, uh, if you're true, let, let me take you home, all right? Look, do you want to leave the sister? I'll see you later, okay? Just... Hey, excuse me. Let's go. All right, then. Have a good ride home. Uh, my dear, please, open this door for us. Hey, Mandy. Hey, Mandy, baby. I'm just trying to find a way of taking care of the situation, all right? Baby, it's okay. All right? Okay? I'm looking after you, baby. All right, that's my baby. It's okay, it's okay. It's all right. It's okay. Yeah, I'm paying. How much is this? Rosalind! Hurry up, I'm running late. Listen, just a minute. Um, you know, there's something that's bothering me. What is it? It's this uh, Mike. You know, his constant absence from the office. Your, fa your father is not finding it funny at all, you know. Your mom is part of his job now. It's for the benefit of the company. Benefit of the company, like what we saw yesterday. Mommy, I thought we've concluded that. Mommy, Mike loves to carry people along. He, he's a crowd puller. He's humble to a fault, even when we're in the orientation camp. Can't you understand? I'm only worried, I mean, especially now that we want to let him into the family. Mommy, relax. Everything will be fine, okay? I pray so. Let's go. Yes. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Mani, what are you doing this? What are you doing here so early? What, what do you mean what I'm doing here? How did you even get my house address? Why won't I get your house address? Where have you been? I've not seen you for a month now. You expect me to sit down and fold my hands? Why did you even make where you been? But it's not a secret, it's just an fancy coffee in and out of the Oh, place. please, don't give me that crap. Don't give me the impression that you're under siege. Is it because of the cars? Huh? Because of the house? And because of your work? Listen to me, baby boy. I can give you that in hundred folds and you know my, it. My, my, I'm equal to the task, just, okay? Just hold it. Moreover, I'm late for work. Oh, God. Okay, um, let me see you in your office during my break time, okay? No, 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 no. I won't be available, okay? Unless you have to spend the night in my No house. way, Mandy. I cannot spend the night in your place. Not even this night. Okay, okay. okay. Fine. Break time. In my house. Better. Yeah. 
young lady. Um, yes, I want to see the gym. Oh, the gym. Sir, the gym is not here back from his break. It's a what? I say he's not here back from his break, sir. What's the time? This is 5 p.m. Huh? But he asked me to call him by 4 o'clock. But, sir, since he's not here back, I suggest you drop a note for him. Drop what note, for God's sake? Come, is this the way people work in this office? Even if he owns this company. Uh, huh? Good afternoon, sir. Hello, what is going on here? Sir, he wants to see the gym. Let him see him. But the gym is not yet back. He's not around. Yes, sir. He's not around. Yes, sir. Okay, whenever he comes back, let him see me directly. Okay, sir. All right. Listen, if it's wealth, connections, me, I think I'm equal to the tax. I have companies spread across the length and breadth of this universe. Honey, with my connections alone, I can make you the president of this country. Yeah. I lived all my life abroad. That's why I came back. I came back to settle down. In the very first moment I saw you, baby, I didn't know. Something in me said, You're the one. So please, please, why don't you just rescue me? Rescue me, give me your heart. Please, I, I just know. I, I feel so sad when you're not with me. Let's forget the past. Let's look into the future. I and you. Together as one. Okay? Oh, baby. You know what? Today is the most memorable day of my life. True. Yeah. Love you, baby. Love you, too. Partners. Hello? Ah, uh, hi. I'm fine. Sad song, singing from all to When you have everything Happiness Is it in your heart How you feel Is it when you give me All I want of love My dear, as I was saying this building and the furnishing of it cost me about 30 million dollars and uh, you know all the facilities in and around it is of international standards you know that's why you know foreigners like to come to my hotel instead of going to other hotels to stay tell you what I'm going to show you my swimming pool it's of international standards I mean Olympic sides swimming pool and well taken care of too. Wait, wait a minute. You mean you own all this and you look this simple? Oh my Nobody god. Nobody will even know. <laughs> my dear, how else do you want me to look? I mean, I'm a simple person. You know, I don't go about bragging of things that I have and all that. It's just, you know, empty bearers make the most noise at the sight of just a million dollars. You know, some people will go local. Wait, Mandy, 
How about the place you make plastics and polythene bags? Is it on rent or you bought it? On rent? No, come on. I don't rent. I bought and erected that Jesus building. Christ. Yeah, I bought that place. You know, on this place, where are the moment now? I bought it immediately I came back from the US. You know... You mean you own all this land? Yes, it does belong, as you can see. They are all on rent. As you can see, government dignitaries, they are all here, you know. Oh, these people are your tenants? My tenants are on lease, you know. They come and will make business. So, you see, the other side, yes. the other side I showed you, it's uh, my guest house. It's exclusively for my foreign partners, you know. I build that place for my foreign partners in case they come back from abroad, you know. And the other side is reserved for office. So, tell you what, I'll show you my cars. I've got them cars. And I'm going to introduce to my money just so that anytime you feel like taking a ride in any of the cars, they will be yours. Money, I didn't know what to say, but all I know is that I feel like make that. No, no, no. I can't wait to come and show me the car. I like, told you we're going to do a lot of it. We're going together. Oh, my dear, I feel like. <laughs> no, 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 I can't wait to see that car. Yeah. Just take it. Around. You know, I have different cars. You mean you own others? Yeah, for different locations, you know. Some for like wedding outings, birthday parties, court, you know, and all that. Yeah. Just a good look at them. They're all mine. Mandy, something else. Yeah. You mean you own all those cars? How about the one that. Will I be lying to you? They're all mine. That one, yeah, it's mine. Is that that e class here? Yeah? You like it? I like it a lot. I told you all you need to do is just give the manager a call and get your eyes. <laughs> I can't believe Mom, it. I still have black I can't believe it. You don't think. This is not just the end. No, I said cut. Please, please. Yeah. Uh, 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 oh, that one. So that you did to me. Lighting. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Um, I am happy that every member of the board is present here this evening. If you tilt up your nostrils, you will perceive some whiff of the scent of something good about to happen in my family. Chief Chief, you with this your alien. Wallahi, you're tripping me, wallahi. Can you please uh, tell us what it is that Allah we are waiting? All right, I'll tell you. <clears throat> my only daughter, who incidentally is my only child too, will be getting married soon. Rosalind? Very, very happy. I'm too good. They won't let me know. That's why I said with Alan. Yes. Uh, yes. May we know who the lucky man is? Oh, of course. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh. That is meant to be a surprise. Ah. Except uh, Chief wants to let the cat out of the bag. <laughs> Close that. <laughs> All right, I'll give you a clue. Okay. His fair complexion. Mm -hmm. 
handsome, yeah. brilliant, uh -huh. witty, uh -huh. rich. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Chief, if he has all these qualities, can you please allow me to have him? Word with him just for a minute. Uh, no, 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 Madam China. That won't be necessary. The boy is too young for what you're asking for. <laughs> All we need is your moral support. <laughs> oh. Chief Ben, I think you've done very well by letting us know this early. Thank you. And I hope you know what we are capable of doing. Of course, of course, yes, we know. I know every one of you. Excuse me, uh, Chief. Excuse me, the Allah. I hope you have not made any arrangement for Zakatos that will be slaughtered on Thursday. Mm. No, I know you wouldn't do that. Not when you have Elijah Ahmed as your friend, I will provide a no Katos and I will slaughter my Elo. I want to talk Dad. to you now. Okay. Handling that company. I don't understand. You have to understand. Your in and out movement is really affecting the growth of the company. But you seem to forget that I'm the GM of the company. And I said in and out movement, it's for the good of the company. That's it's for certainly contact. not what I mean. Mike, at least you should let somebody know your whereabouts. Okay, yeah, okay. I'm sorry, I'll make adjustments. Okay? You better do. It's for our own good. Sorry. Uh, oh, no, you're right, me. What about the wedding shopping tomorrow? That is still intact. Only I'll, I'll pick you up from the office, okay? Um, whoever looks for me, uh, should wait. I'll soon come back. Uh, whoever is there? Oh. Wow, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Were you ever going out? Yes. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. I brought a wedding invitation for you. That's good. From who? From me, sir. Oh, that's beautiful. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Oh, okay. Why don't you come in? No, no. Just give you something. No, thanks. I have to rush and give others. All right, that's lovely. Thank, thank you, sir. Give others. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, who is there? I need to come. Nothing, just that I was tired. You're tired. Sorry. So, I have that for you. And, I have that for you. How's this it? Check out the shoes. And, wow, please be down. Thank you. Baby, why, why didn't you meet me at the shop now, knowing that our wedding is around the corner? Why? Rosalind, um, 
what I'm about to tell you now might sound very difficult, but I want you to put yourself together to be able to get it because um, it's a basic fact. What's it? Um, I want us to forget about this marriage. <laughs> to forget the marriage or what? I'm no longer interested. Simple. Mike, Mike, wait. You can't do this to me now, eh? You, you know how much I pressured my parents before they considered this marriage. Was, that's the problem. And that's a major problem. What? Why would they reject me in the first place? Mike, they didn't reject you. Please. Yes, it was a way of making sure that their daughter is in safe hands. Please. Look, Mike. No matter what you say, I don't care. What? I'm simply not interested, okay? But Mike, because... Mike, don't do this to me now. Please. Mike, please now. My, my parents have sent out the invitation cards to their friends are well wishes now. I'm, I'm too much pregnant. Please. Listen, get this into your brain. Whether they've sent the invitation card or you're pregnant has nothing to do with the way I feel right now. Do you understand? You're just longer interested. And maybe you have to get this known now. <laughs> I was in the university before you came in. There was a lady that invested so much in me, and we agreed to get married thereafter. Though we lost contact, but now we have re-established the contact and she agrees, she, she, she insists that I go by agreement. Mike, don't you think this is an expensive joke? Me joking, Michael. You don't know me. I don't let my parents hear this. Oh God. Mike, 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 please, please, you can't do this. No. Oh my God. 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 Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. I heard you sent for me yesterday, but I'm sorry I couldn't make it. I was busy. Oh, yes, I did send for you. All I want to say is that I will want you to be careful. I don't understand you. Have you forgotten so soon how difficult it was for you to, uh, to convince my husband to accept your proposal to marry Rosalind? Nothing has started yet and you're already carrying on the way you're doing. I don't understand. Ma'am, I'm, I'm really sorry, but I don't understand what you mean. <sighs> Maybe I should be a little bit straight with you. I will want you to straighten your ways so that there will be progress in your life. Be a little bit more diligent to work. Especially if you want to be a part of this family. I'll advise you to be careful. Okay, um, I promise I will improve. I'll do better. I pray so. And so how has it been today? I pray so. So, uh, I hope everything is okay. Yes, Yes. What is your problem with this company? Sir, I don't understand, sir. I elevated you to the post of general manager because of your competence. Your continued absence from the office is causing a lot of damage to this company. Do you know that? So I'm sorry. Now listen, what do you mean I'm sorry? You are keeping away from work and it is jeopardizing the interest of this company. Listen to me, Mike. I will not tolerate that. It's either you are in with us or you are out. 
if I get one more case against you, I will not hesitate to throw you out of this company. Do I make myself clear? So like I said before, I'm really very serious. Listen, no, this is not a charity organization. You can leave now. Thank you, sir. I'm surprised at his late behavior now. God knows I don't deserve this from Mike. You Mama, Mama, God knows I don't deserve this from Mike. No, stop crying. You don't deserve it, I know. But what I'm telling you is that Mike does not mean what he is saying. He's only playing about it. <laughs> yeah? Because I know that Mike cannot decide to fight, to bite the finger that fed him. He cannot. Huh? You hear my <laughs> okay, it's okay now. Mama, I'm two months pregnant. Eh? And he knows much as I do. You, 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 are, you are pregnant? Mama, I am. And he's doing this to me. Oh my God. Stop crying. I don't want you to continue to cry. So that I don't want anything to happen to my, my, my grandchild. Yeah? But I know that Mike does not mean what he's saying. You mean that Mike used his mouth and he told you that a woman, a lady, took care of his uh, care of a, uh, his university education. I wonder. That is why I say that he is joking. You cannot say that. Joking. Woman, woman, talk to your son. If anything happens to my son, that son, I will use my power as a father and place a curse upon him forever. No, that is, that is, that is, that is no peace. That is peace. <laughs> Please, please, no place any cause on it. Oh, please, no matter what happens. Get up, please. get up, man. Please, don't get up, get up, get up. See, when you go go back to the city, tell Mike that we want to see him. Eh? Please, tell him we want to see him. Let him come and tell us if 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 he's he's crazy or something. Get up, get up, get up, my dear. Surgeon? Yeah. Okay. Don't you like it? I think it's cool. Mandy? Yeah? There's something that's been happening lately in my office that I don't really understand. What is it? My MD. The way he's been talking and treating me of late, I do not understand why. Thought about it, whether it's because of the house that I'm living in, there's an official quarter, or the car, or maybe the job. I can't really please why I should be treated the way he's been treating me late. Um, you know something, mm. Mike? You know, working or leaving in the official quarters or, I mean, riding an official car, I think it's a, it's a matter of your decision. You can afford to quit it if you want. I mean, if you can, if you can, if you can you just quit it, I don't think that's a big deal. Can afford to quit it. Mandy? Mm hmm From this minute, I resign from that job. For real. For real? I will never go back there again. Yes. That's my boy. That's right, I love you, baby. Oh, you're such a sweet guy. You're sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Madam, it's Mango. Hello, Madam. Somebody said to see you. She said her name is Rosie. Okay, she's show it. Yes, young lady, can I help you? Yes, Rosie, my my expensive. Uh, actually, I, I and Michael were about getting married, and because of you, he changed his mind, and I'm too much pregnant for him. Oh, you're Rosalind, Mike's fiance. 
Oh. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, come, 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 come. Sit down. It's, it's okay. Sit down. Uh oh. How are you? How are your parents? <laughs> Hope you're okay. Uh oh. I'm so sorry. Don't worry. Don't cry. Everything will be all right. Hmm. Now, young lady, listen to me and listen good. I and Mike are also getting married. Mm -hmm. I'm also pregnant for him. And I think Mike is old enough to make a decision. Now, I really appreciate it if you get up and leave. And I don't ever want to see you around here again. Get up! Listen to me and listen good. I don't ever want to see you around this premises again, okay? Now, listen to me. I don't ever want to see that girl around here again, okay? Yes, ma'am. Hello, how are you? Fine, sir. Did anybody look for me? Nobody, sir. Have you sent out the check that I gave to you? No, sir. What is the meaning of that? You mean I give you an instruction on what to do and you sit on it? In an office like this? Sir, so I had to rely because somebody brought in a teller and I needed your confirmation. So I give you instructions on what to do. You sit down on it. I'm sorry, sir. You better be. So where's the teller now? He's in my drawer. You better send it to my office immediately. Nonsense. Okay. Oh, Mama, good evening. Mike. Mama. Where is Rosalie? Mama, uh, that's why I've come. I mean, that's what I've come to explain to you people. Explain? Explain what? Explain? Mike, nobody will grant you audience unless Rosalind, who made you what you are, sits here with us. No, Mama, Papa, nobody made me what I am. God made me what I am today. Hey, shut up. Are you shouting? You are shouting on your, on your father? No, Papa. Uh, Mama, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to shout. Mike, you brought that girl into this family. And introduce her as your wife. So what happened? What happened? Mama, I, I'm no longer with Rosalind. That's it. Mm -hmm. yes, Mama. It's all over between you and Rosalind. Now listen, Mike. If it is all over between you and Rosalind, it is all over between you and me. It is all over between you and your father. Me huh? too. Yes. What, what? Mike. Count me out as a father. And you are no more my son. I see you people are not really interested in hearing the good news I brought here, Abby. Good news? Yes. Okay. That's right. We are listening. Provided it's centered on Rosalind. Papa is not centered around Rosalind. It is not. Because why I left Rosalind is for the interest of us. The interest of this family. Okay, tell me. Why would I marry somebody that they've been saying all sorts of rubbish about my name? Because I want to marry her. Am I that ugly? The father went as far as saying that I bewitched them into allowing me to marry their daughter. What for? What nonsense? He went ahead and said I should leave the company, leave the company's car, and leave their daughter. And I left. I actually were left. But you know why God loves us? As a matter of fact, why I say God is of this family is that as soon as, as they were pushing me out, another wealthy family was receiving me. And this is evidence to that. This car you're looking at was bought in my name. When I was going out to Rosalind, the car I was using was official car. But this car, brand new, was bought in my name. It's okay. Shut up. Can you hear yourself? Can you hear yourself, Mike? I'm ashamed of you. Hear again, amen. Hey, one family was pushing me out. Another one was pushing me out. All girls. Are you ashamed of yourself, Mike? Mike. Now, let me tell you. That girl is having my grandchild in her tummy. Yes. So? So, 
If you say it's all over between you and her, it's all over between you and this family. Get it right in charge of your skull, Mike. Eh? Yes. Mike. Ah. Papa, listen to me. I want Rosalind back. Failing to do that, I will. Mike, I will. I Otherwise, will. what will happen, Papa? What is this? Ah? Are you still there waiting? Are you still there waiting? What is the meaning of this now? Where is Papa going to? Now? Mike, please leave. You know who your father is. Please leave. I should what? You should leave. My own father's house. For what? Leave, Mike. Mike, you hear again, ma'am. Mike, I'm ashamed of you. Well, me? One family pushes you out. Another one. Ah, you are ashamed for being successful. Again, for being successful. What successful? For me, because I'm working hard. I mean, because I'm successful. You are working hard. Telling it to women now. Hey. Anyway, Mama, you said I should leave. Leave. You people will come begging me. And then it will be difficult to convince me to it's come back. It's a lie. Back. I am not going to look for you. We are not going to look for you, Mike. You Go to her. Okay. We are not going to look for you. <laughs> <laughs> situation like if it cannot be handled locally let me make arrangements to fly her abroad doctor please say something so that we know what to do madam she's okay she's okay chief please can i see you i'm sorry she lost the baby hey lost sorry, please calm down please sorry, calm down sorry, madam. Sorry. calm down Please. Thank you Please very much, me. Doctor. Please do your best for me, Doctor. So she leaves this place as soon as possible. She's my only child. Please. Chief, I'll do my best. Thank you. I promise I'll do my best. Thank you. I'm not very good at guessing, so tell me, what is it? Just guess. Okay. You want another contract? No. Pregnant. What? Say that again. I'm pregnant. You're not serious. I am. Right, say that again. I am pregnant. I'm pregnant. <laughs> You're what? I'm pregnant and I'm two months gone. You mean I'm going to be a father? You're going to be a oh, daddy. Baby. <laughs> wait, wait, you know what? Yeah? Let's get inside. One change, dress into something better. Then we'll be and see the doctor. Now? Yes, right? I'm going to be a father. Yeah. Yes. I'm now? Okay. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> My from a good home, the result before me indicates that the wife is two months pregnant. Honey! Doc. Thank you very much. Congratulations. 
congratulations. Thank you. Thank you Thank so you. much. Oh, honey, I'm so happy. So I feel fulfilled and feel complete. It. Feel it too, baby. Oh, honey. I can feel it move. You do? Yes, it's moving in my womb as if it's playing football. <laughs> Doctor, thank you very much again. No Honey, let me hear. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor, you know what? Yes. I can feel my boy kicking in her womb, okay? I'm sure he's going to be a great footballer like Kano <laughs> Wangu and Dejo Okocha. Are you a footballer? Oh, yes. I played active soccer. I still play up to today. Oh, yeah. So we'll take after you. Oh, yes. I can. That's good. Let's go and get married immediately. I can't wait to take you down the aisle, you know. Me too. Formalize the whole thing, you know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> Baby! <laughs> That's it. So, don't, don't mind us, don't mind us. Honey, let's, let's, let's get it. My baby! <laughs> Welcome. What took you so long? I've been waiting. I arrived at the airport very late. Uh oh. Uh, I tried your lines, they were all dead. I decided to sleep at the nearest hotel. So. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. I had to change my telephone numbers and lines and all that. So I'm so uh, sorry. No problem, Mandy. Yeah. No, Mandy, I want you to repeat what you told me over the phone. Honey, I don't think I want to go into that. Again, so what I'm going to do is show you for real. I'm waiting. <laughs> uh, Nana, Mati. come, come with my baby, okay? Honey, that's a miracle, baby! <laughs> Say hello to daddy. <laughs> come on, Don't stop that. it. That's oh. daddy. Okay, just take him in, okay? Mandy, and dress I'm him up. So right? happy. You know? Oh, baby. <laughs> now I can be called the man. Yep. <laughs> so what? Now, yep. get set. We must be leaving to the airport. I can't spend two nights in Nigeria, you know that. I know, honey. That's no problem. My valuables and uh, personal effects, everything is packed, okay? Uh, but we just had to wait for him. We've been the man? Yeah. All right, if you say so. Yeah. But then, let me have some drinks. Celebration? Some celebration, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby, I can't wait to leave this country. I'm so happy, man. It's I'm so, so happy. It's so hot in here. I don't know. We just had to leave, you know. I can't wait, though. I enjoy it, you know. <laughs> but I need to cover up myself a bit, you know. <laughs> oh. So. Cheers. For the family. Yes, <laughs> to us. Mm. Mm -hmm. Hello, honey. Oh, hi, you're back. Yeah, I can see you have a visitor. Yes, I do. Good day, sir. Thanks, Mike. I'll be with you in a minute. Um, before you go in, why don't you just sit down? We would like to talk with you. It's all right, but let me get it. Let me get this off and get into something. No, we, we won't have that time. Just sit down, please, and uh, you have to discuss with us first. It's, it's important. Andy, what is it? I said, let me get into something oh, casual Mike, so that I can join please, in the discussion. Please, please, don't start this now, please, okay? Please, why don't you just sit and listen? Please. All right, if you insist. Okay. I hope there's no problem. No, I don't think there's any problem. Um. I want to let you in to a little secret, right? And I want you to take it like a man, okay? This is my husband. What? My husband. I told you. No, 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 please. Let's not go into that, okay? He's my husband, he's Chief Richards, okay? He owns all the investment I told you about and the one I showed you the last time. Hello, Mr. Richard. Oh, Dr. Robbins. Hi, Zay. Fine. Hi, good afternoon. Sorry for I've kept you waiting. No problem. Um, Chief Richard. Yes. Yes. Um, Chief Richard, several tests conducted on both of you oh. in the case that Chief Richard yes. may not be able to father a child. What? What? Damn. Oh my God. Honey, 
it's okay. I'll take it easy, yeah? It's okay. I, I want you to know that whatever happens, I still love you. I love you, okay? Let's just go home and um, see what we can do next, okay? Hmm? Please. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, ciao. I mean, um, since you're not down with the idea of adopting a baby, I think I have a plan. What plan is it? Yeah, um, why not I go down to Nigeria, okay? I mean, get myself some guy that is HIV free, all right? Kind of slip around with him, you know, I mean, get pregnant, have a baby down there in Nigeria. I mean, you come down to Nigeria, pay him off, and then come back to America and live happily. What you think about that, right? Eh? Are you comfortable with the idea? Honey, you know I want anything that will make you happy. Okay. Well, anything that makes you happy, I will not lose. I will do to that. Yes, you are, baby. <laughs> mm. So, Mandy, mm. out. When yeah. are you going back to me? Yeah. I guess I'll take a while. That's on the bed. Somebody tell me I'm dreaming. Ah, uh, Mike, you are not dreaming. This is for real. Um, this is a check of two hundred thousand naira for the job. Gentlemen, collect this, pack your loads, and leave this house now. What is he talking about? Mandy, yeah, honey. get the security. Okay. Wait, 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 just wait a minute. Um, where do you think you're going with that? My briefcase? Yeah. Briefcase? It's not yours. The car keys. My car keys? Mm -mm, my car keys. So we the driver downstairs. Okay. Have a pleasant day. I should have known this. I should have known you were too good to be real. Whatever. I'll see you. Mike. Whatever. Thank you very much for the job well done. So what I tell you learn your lessons. Ah, <laughs> honey. So now Less. we have to move immediately. Once again for the family. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready as the baby. <laughs> Let me bring my baby. Why on earth did I set my eyes on Mandy? What actually put me to her at the expense of Rosalind? Rosalind, who picked me up from the gutter, washed me and made me eat from her father's reserved high table. Yet I rewarded her badly, thinking I was taking a step forward, not knowing I was really taking steps backwards. Oh, sugar king love, sugar king, sugar king lady. I don't know what came no, over no, no, no. me And I know what I chose to do What kind of nonsense is this now? Nah. Everywhere. 
come on, 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 come Sugar can love, sugar can love. 